Hey guys, Joe Eves here and I have another tutorial for you. So this tutorial is export settings and best practices for exporting your After Effects project using Adobe Media Encoder for Instagram. So hope you enjoy the video. Let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a new composition. Now this video what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using this for Instagram. So in order to do it for Instagram, I'm going to size it a little bit differently. So I'm going to go ahead and do new composition. And from new composition, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make the width 1080. And I'm going to make the height 920. I'm also going to change the frame rate to 30 frames per second. And we'll do 15 seconds. And I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And that is my composition for Instagram. So now that I have basically my clip how I want it, I'm going to go to composition and I'm going to go to add to Adobe Media Encoder. And I'm not going to do add to render queue. And the reason why is because when you use a Adobe Media Encoder, um, it compresses the file to an H.264 codec, which is exactly what you want, or an MP4. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Now I'm using um, After Effects Beta, and I'm also using Adobe Media Encoder Beta. I, so the other video that I did was with just regular After Effects. This is the beta version. So if there is something different, I'm using the very latest version. It's February 4th. 2021 so I have everything kind of set so now I'm going to go into here and I'm going to show you the settings that I use so I have my h264 codec and I have my bitrate and where it's going to go so I'm going to go ahead and click on the blue part and it's going to load in how this is going to look you could preview it if you want here is where you change the name so I'm going to change the name to just sold drone we'll go ahead and on this one we'll put it on the desktop all right um, I don't have any audio so you don't have to export the audio but if you did have audio you could export that the main things that you want to do is you want to go in here and you want to make sure that the frame weight so this is all lines up with the comp that I made so it's 1080 by 920 it's 30 frames per second I want to click on this render at maximum depth. So you click on render at maximum depth. Then you're going to scroll down a little bit more. So then what we're going to have is we're going to have this bitrate as two pass. We're going to have the target at three. That's our goal. So the higher this number, the higher your estimated file size is going to be. So I want this to be a pretty small file so if I put it at three then I'm gonna I'm gonna be about three or four megabytes or six so there we go six megabytes now I have that set I have my everything in there that I want and then I'm gonna click use maximum render quality so I'm gonna click on that as well so that way it will do the best possible quality but it's only six megabytes so it's not this huge huge file I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK and then it has all of the information I want. So then I'm going to go ahead and put, click Start Queue. And down here, you're going to see that that is going to start rendering the file that we just made. Now, this is exactly how I wanted it. Now, if I wanted more text and some other things on there, which I would do, um, I could show you in another video on how to do that. But the most important thing is that uh, for Instagram, it's 1080 by 920. It's um, around 6 megabytes. The other important things is frame rate at 30 frames per second. You can do a maximum of 60 seconds for your video. But realistically, a little shorter videos are going to be a little bit better unless you're going to put it on IGTV. But this is a really good export setting for your After Effects projects 
but I highly recommend that you use Adobe Media Encoder when you do this, and I'll show you why. We're gonna encode this first, and yes, it's not gonna be as high a quality because um, because we're we're really going for file size. I'm gonna show you the difference really fast between using Adobe Media Encoder and using After Effects and their render queue. So I'm gonna to add to the render queue. I'm gonna go into my losses, and if you notice, there's not an H.264 Kodak here, so you'd have to install one. The other thing is your aspect ratio. All of this you can adjust just like you do in the media encoder. Your format options, you can do, uh, there used to be a photo JPEG, but there's not one here anymore, so now you kind of have to use animation. And we're going to continue. So there's not a lot of options to make this a smaller file size. And I'm going to go ahead, hit OK. We'll change this comp to big drone file. And I'll go ahead and put that on the desktop as well. And we'll go ahead and render it. It'll render pretty fast, which is awesome. Doesn't, it doesn't take that long to do. So now we'll pull them up side by side. So it's the exact same thing, 1.3 gig or 6.2 megabytes. I'm pretty sure it's clear which one you want to put on your Instagram. You're not really going to notice the difference. But the file size is way better. So there you go. Hey guys, thanks again for watching the video. And remember, if you have any questions on this video, please comment below. I'd love to talk with you.